Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Promenominance, brought to you by the like button. Make sure to check it out and stuff. Pretty cool. Hello! Oh, you know what I've uh, actually messed up is that the last episode has not come out on YouTube yet, so I actually can't... I have read the comments on what to name the kitty cat, but by the next time that we're playing this, I will probably have been able to... And everyone's like, oh, I guess in that case, we'll have to call it horse pee. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna honor what I said, which is I will look at the comments of the video, which you can find at youtube.com slash Sparkles 2 which is something that you should subscribe to, which is a pretty cool place and a channel and stuff. So today I was thinking we would do a little bit of main questage. So, by using the essence of eventide on the old moon altar, you will return the true heir back to the original body. This will result in summoning of the fallen icon, a fierce, empowered version of the returning knights with a fast pace and dangerous second phase. When summoned, Unbreakable will be used right away, affecting all nearby players with weakness, nausea, and slowness. Well then, so, the, um, on, and we gotta use it on the old moon altar. Is that a structure that I can look for? Let's see. Old... No, it is not. What is... Hmm. Where is the old moon altar located? That's something we're going to have to get to the bottom of. Hmm. Alrighty, but... I guess... Is there anything we need to do to, like, prep for it? We did find the... I mean, someone was saying the place where I got the essence of eventide was also, like, is that the place that you summon this guy as well? Being told it was a cathedral of something, so we've matched the mods. It is most likely this. It is 6,000 blocks in this direction. What, um, what was my closest, uh, waystone over here? Is there, like, an easy one that I can go to? Have I left any? I really don't want to travel that far. I'm kind of scared because it may go badly. We may run into things that... Oh, you know what I can do, though? I could divide the coordinates by eight, and I can go there in the nether. That's the way to do it. Also, can I make a new waystone? Let's probably do that. We're gonna be we're gonna be safe about the whole thing. That's the goal. All right, very good. So, let's do a little bit of math, nether it up, and ye. We're I just did the I did the math in my head. Nine hundred, and then one twenty, somewhere around there. Should get us easy peasy, super de duper. I might have a you know waste on the nether that's close, but we don't worry about that. Me, my college education, yeah, <laughs> my college education helping me divide by eight. And being probably relatively off of the whole thing as well. Um, for sure, for sure. Okay, so. Do we, we can broom, though. Dude, we just, we just broom ski the whole thing. God damn it, man! Why would you do this? I was thinking I could just mine my way all the way there. Oh, God, I forgot I'm... Oh, frick! <laughs> I've done the best thing ever. I've just mined into a lava lake. <laughs> Oh, God. Um, maybe we go this way. Maybe we go this way first. Watch this end up being, like, slower than me actually flying there if we had no crashes. Um, God dang it. It's hard, to, it's hard for me to get the angle exactly right. But when I do get the angle exactly right... Oh, my frick off again? Here we go. Here we go. We gotta go 900. We made it! <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. Okay, I've already gotten to 130. And then we just go this way. God dang it, dude! Why am I having such a hard time getting my angle right? Not a right angle. My angle right. My angle frick, frick, freaking... Fr okay, anyway. I'm doing this less so to save time in terms of, like just distance traveled more so to uh, make it less likely that we crash. Um, I should hit this up though. This might have some stuff. I don't think we've been on this one before. And 
juicing, 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 and knocking back. Huge plays. You guys are done. You guys are done, Zode. Absolutely dookied on. What do we get? Another runic tablet. Let's go. Huge maneuvers there. I don't think we need blackstone slagtites. I do need that. Gold ingot. Something like that. Bada bing, bada boom. Ancient debris. Some iron ingots. A little bit of boot skis there. Yeah, God, I would not want to curse of mind myself on those. No, thank you. I don't even think I need these, honestly. Kind of whatever at this point. Okay. And then we keep on the vrooming. <sighs> Gonna freaking smash myself into a wall. Alright. Um. I'm so sad. I haven't been able to actually get the angle proper so I can just run through like I've done it before. Really dumb. Really, really lame on my part, man. Really disappointing. Hey, by the way, uh, if you guys are interested in um, being able to listen to squelching sounds, then you should check out Logitech and use code Captain Sparkles in order to be able to <laughs> rotten eggs get yourself. 10% um, off of all things they offer, including the A50X, the headset. They also have some pretty sweet keyboards, mice, and a bunch of peripherals that are really, really great for playing things and doing computer stuff, and even not playing, just like doing computer stuff in general. Can you kindly leave me alone? Where are you? I actually don't know where you are. Oh, you're over there. Not anymore, you ain't. Do I not have a flint and steel on me? Good thing we have access to this wherever. Okay, very cool. So, this should be fairly close to the cathedral thingamadonger. Alan J. Mackey, thank you for the 49 months. Trost Dog, thank you for the sub. Much appreciated. Leaving a review on the Logic page. Yes, these are very good for squelchy games. That would be great if you could. If you do order a headset, please do leave a review and say really emphasizes, in a good way, the squelchiness of particular game sounds, you know? I do believe that would be an ideal, an ideal thing to convey to all those potentially interested. It really, did it, it dropped me at, at y equals three. Well, I guess we're gonna have to run on up. That's that angle, that's that angle. Let's go, let's go. Now we move in groove. Now we move in frick. Where I don't actually have a shovel, do I? Huh. Anyway, uppies. The cathedral is located somewhere near. Oh my God, we're two hundred blocks away. My math. That was some good mathing. You gotta admit that was some good mathing right there, right? Go 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 go. Where is the cathedral? 146 blocks away? Come on, man, don't do that. 146. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. There, ooh, that's a fancy looking structure right there. Holy frick. I may need to get some uh, screeny shots of that real quick, you know? Just a few screeny shots of that. All right, here we go. In we vroom. Oh, hey, it's like, oh God, what are you? Hey, wait, chill out, man. Goodbye, Dark Sorcerer. Oh my God, that's crazy. Old Moon Altar. All right, well, there it is. Are you like part of this place or are you just spawning because it's nighttime? What do we have here? Ritual and astral influence. Oh, wait, there's some st Oh, okay, that's not helpful. I can't read that. <laughs> do you see a chest in here? Does this got any good sh do Freaking. Okay, lost souls. More lost souls. Bit of iron, you know, that's pretty good. Anything over here? Oh wow, there's more loot over here. Man, oh man. What do we got? Poison focus? Eh, some of this stuff's kind of whatever. 
I guess we could always take more gapples, just in case. Not bad, not bad. And then we can check the other area. I wonder if there are more chests on top, actually. No, the pentagram thing is gone now. Bye-bye. See you later. R.I.P. Ghost. A diamond! I like how um, it's mostly chain armor, which feels like it's probably a little bit... You'd think it's a little underpowered for whatever it is that we have to do here. But um, anyway, God, you guys just keep spawning. You don't stop. Oh, it's a skeleton. Huh. Anyway, okay, so there it is. Cool. Should we read this? Let's read this up. The first attempt did not go so smoothly, nor the second, nor the third. The orb seems to reject the soul. Blah. Why would it reject it? Is the soul too powerful? That doesn't make sense. They said it could hold millions of demon souls. This is not good. We cannot delay our plans further. We cannot risk the brrrr, knowing our discovery of godhood. We must find a way. Astral influence. Ha! Of course Fenrir found a loophole. Although it's not the most ethical way, I must say, it certainly worked. I am glad the other <laughs> went with the ritual. I'd rather not pry into the dark arts too much. Hopefully no one questions the dark sigils on the Titan. They shouldn't recognize the symbols anyway. They will definitely help with the, <laughs> the Titan when the time comes to. Ah, uh, oh wait, more. There's no doubt about it. Our prayers are being heard. They must be waiting. Waiting for our... <laughs> okay. So, this. Here we go. The Fallen Icon! Oh, this guy! I remember kind of this. Yeah, I think I remember. Oh, God, he made me... Hold on. Okay, so, uh, we gotta do... Oh, okay! He has, uh... Oh, he actually hits kind of bigly. He kind of hits pretty bigly, to be fair. Okay, he hits kind of... I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful. I gotta be a little careful. Hold on, let's get the gapples in here. He looks like he's walking, but he kind of just, like, stands still, you know? Ooh, okay. Oh, I can glide. Wait, wait, wait. But what if I do? What if I do? This actually does quite a bit of damage on top of the other thing. Ooh, Ow. Oh. Actually, this is probably good. Wait, do you guys dro drop XP? I, I actually should use this sword for these guys. What, what did I just get? That's a cool soul-infused ingot. Miss me with that. I just want to get my armor repaired, you know. Just be careful. Uh-oh. I cannot see anything. Yikes! Armor still light. Armor still light. And we go in. We, we go in. We go in. Oh, I don't want to juice them. Do they actually drop good stuff? Yikes! Owie. Okay. I will wait for him to spawn more, and then I will not juice them. I thought they were just, like, standard ads, you know? They're getting knocked back so hard. his own guys with that? I think he is. Ow. Okay, yeah, I know I haven't taken that much damage, but he does do more damage than most of the dude bros. Like, I'm almost going below 10 hearts, which is kind of crazy. Okay, I don't want to I don't want to ruin him yet, because apparently I, I want to have more of the soul things. This guy can frick off, though. I just don't want him to ground pound his own ads, because then I don't get the stuff. Why am I knocking? I'm knocking them back way too much. Oh, I've gotten 14 of those things. Okay, that seems pretty good. My armor is still okay. Oh, yeah, the extendo arm is doing extendo arm things. That's super true. All right, buddy. Well, we've had our fun. And now our time here 
is done. Farewell. Goodbye. Oh. Oh, he has a very large, uh, the Harbinger of Moonlight. They did warn about a second phase. They did warn about a second phase. That is very true. 1200 again. Am I gonna get dookied on by any chance? Okay. Uh, how's my armor? My armor still- Okay, buddy. Let's calm it down. Calm it down. Calm it down. Oh my god. He, he, okay. He, he's very upset he's spaghetti now, it would seem. I think I'm actually life stealing like quite a good bit here, which is pretty cool. How's my armor? Uh, it's not entirely awful yet. I should have brought. Oh wait, we do bottles of XP, right? Just just in case, bottles of XP. We do. Oh balls. Okay, okay, hold on. <laughs> that didn't do a great deal for me. Armor's good again. He doesn't have ads in this phase, to be fair. Okay, that's probably bad for my armor. Oh, it's actually fine. It's actually fine. Okay, man. Are we, uh, are we done? Are we done with that whole thing? Whoop. Thank you. Didn't even need a build to get out. Appreciate you. Okay, you blowing up the floor in your own temple is counterproductive. I oh, just see he, he doesn't, I don't think he takes damage from ranged. It's probably not good for my armor to uh, tank those hits. Oh, dear. Ow, 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 ow. I just need to get him when he's not doing the explode. God, every time I do it, he does the explodey thing. Frick. Bet you can't get me up here. Bet you can't get me up here. Yeah. Okay, maybe he can. Whatever. Oh, freaking dang it. Just want to, you know, get a screenie or two or something like that, you know? Get a screen, maybe? Yeah. Frick, frick. Maybe he's like a warden, like when you get far away or something, then he just gets mad. Okay, he's doing that. Yeah, he's mad. Ah, stop! Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Just getting different angles and stuff like that, you know? Okay, there we go. He's getting closer. We're about to frick him up. Got him. Ooh, that is a fancy looking sword right there. Oh my God, what is that? The Moonlight Great Sword. They're all two handed though, which is sad. Very sad. Uh, so what are these used for? Translucent sword. Double-edged donger, the soul reaper. That thing is good, right? Oh, it's, they're all two-handed, though. Ooh, the nightfall. That is a cool... But they're... Mm, I want them to not be all two-handed. The knight's edge, two-handed, as well. Soul, in, is soul ingot chest plate. Well, didn't get enough for that, so that's a bit of an oofies there. Dark sorcerer stuff. The soul reaper has a cool special effect. Let's see... Um, used to some familiar with strength based on harvested souls. Press V by default to collect the souls of your bound summons back into your soul harvesting weapon. If in hand, this includes everything from remnants to soul masses. Hmm. It's kind of fancy. Wait, so you get these by, ah, lost souls, shattered iron, and these are by, oh, you just smelt soul sand. So they're actually not very difficult to get. Then we get the essence of luminescence. Hmm. Interesting indeed. Translucent double-edged great sword. Why are they all two-handed, man? I just love these because they are not two-handed. I can hold the extendo grip and stuff like that, even though that doesn't make a huge difference. What does this do? Used to summon moonlight beams, a great sword originally made from the Herald of Moonlight, great guardian of the ancients. Oh, so I can do like the shoosty shoes to the beams and stuff like that. Okay, and this is just for other weapons and stuff. The nightfall is also pretty cool. Gain resistance and absorption. Charge and shatter mobs ahead. Gain a haste post hit while having the strength effect. This thing's also kind of gnarly, dude. Kind of gnarly, isn't it? Huh. 
Hmm, I should try, uh, what does this do? <coughs> that was a powerful sneeze that I just did right there. I shot an attack. Is it just like... Huh. This thing looks crazy. Oh my god, dude, this thing looks so cool. Thank you for blessing me. I appreciate it. Okay, what is this used in? Oh, the Chaos Orb. Very fancy, which is used in what? Again, I don't remember. Maybe to spawn something or other. Put all those in there. I just... Mm, so it being two-handed, though, it has such a slow attack speed. Like, nothing can compete with our ruby sword unless we do... Some, okay, well, anyway, let me look at the next thing. So this is, we get a runic great axe, fancy, fancy. The next thing, oh, the obsidolith in the end. Cool. All right, well, we know where plenty of those are. There's one that's right next to our uh, chorus fruit spawn thing. Anyway, runic power, question mark, click to identify. This thing is so slow. What do you mean by click to identify? Like. The, the runic power is slow. Okay, but chance on hit to slow the target for a duration. Eh, eh, it feels like there could have been better options for that, if I'm being honest. But, you know. You know. Upgrade my enchanting table? What do you mean? There's a, Oh, do you mean my... With the uh, the depth shelf things? I haven't done that yet. You are, you are correct. I haven't done the depth shelves... So it is something I could do. Yeah, I could do that. I could do that. Another enchanting episode. Well, yeah. I don't know how many of the enchants that we have are... Let's see. So this is Sexanor. <laughs> what a great default name. Uh, the... What's... Uh, cathedral... Oh, right, we do need to find the, the an end city and get the 20% damage rings and stuff like that. Um, I didn't make the name. I'm just reading it, okay? I feel like I'd be min-maxing by going the enchant route. Isn't that what we've done the whole series so far as we've simply min-maxed everything? By the way, do I have any more uh, things to... Nope, no more to do here. How savage. How savage indeed. Um, all right, so... People were saying there was an item that you can use that will replace fireworks, and it'll just, like, you can right-click it. It was it was kind of like Cloud in a Bottle. Was it Cloud in a Bottle? I don't know if it was Cloud in a Bottle, but, um, yeah, let me see. Depth shelves were the thing shelf. Which one was it? It was the, uh, the, the echoing deep shelf, the echoing skulk shelf. Freaking heck, man. Okay, it was these ones that I need. The Warden Tendrils 4, which it takes these, which takes the Deep Shelf, which takes the which takes the Frick, which takes the Dormant... Okay, so I have to make the Dormant Deep Shelf, and I turn that into the Deep Shelf, the level 60, and then I turn that into the Echoing Skulk Shelf. Yes. That's how it do. Oh, I also need a lot more candles for Dat Boy. Indeed. Okay. Cool. cool, cool. Um, do I not have... I guess I can make... Oh, God. I have to make a whole bunch of these dongers. Oh, my God. It's stone, it's stone cutting time. It's stone cutting time. Where's my stone cut hair? Trying to do some cool stuff before we just, you know, zoom on through all the way to... Uh, the end of everything. I could also check into this, the, one of the cool weapons that uses the things. I have a feeling we are going to need that essence of, uh, you know, the chaos orb or something like that, do we? Yeah, I can be only summoned at an eye shrine built with a base 5 by 5 and a 3 by 3 um, All edges and rod. The eye can only get called in the end dimension. Well, void touch blade, that's a cool looking thing. But I wonder if um, the other thing is used anywhere. Anyway, okay. Boom. 
Get that going, get that going. Doing the stoof, doing the stoof. I don't know if I needed this many, but we're doing it anyway. So, at soul weaponry. So is this, this isn't from, um, so it's like there's the two different things, right? You've got the, you got the souls-like weapons, and then you also have the, uh, what is the other mod called again? The simply swords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which are different mods, but kind of like similar, similar things. I don't know what's better. I don't know what's better to, like, try to go through. Hmm. Don't know. Wait, sacrifice a dragon egg for what? Okay, so, uh, here we go. We got these, we got these, we got, um, these and stuff. And that's probably enough bookshelves to make all the skulk stuff and things. Take the deep shelf, the dormant deep shelf. And we gotta make, so we gotta, we got information. We need four echoing skulk shelves and ten soul-touched skulk shelves. So we need 14 of these. Cool. And then I think we take all of these and we level 60 them, right? Um, and we use our lapis. Okay, so... Uh, infusion. This will be a very easy thing to do, at least. Delving into darkness, it says. Wow, incredible. And we have lost three levels. A whopping three levels in the process. Um, right, 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 right. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we take these, and then we have to craft them into four echoing skulk shelves. Uh, so... Oh, oh balls, I'm out of candles. Do I have any more uh, ability to make candles here by any ch chance? Uh, I need how many of these? So four, that's 12, so I'm going to need nine more. Oh, just enough. Just enough. Oh, my God. Let's go. I did it. And then we need four of these boys. All right, so those are good. And then we need four of uh, these mans here. Any more lanterns? That should be easy enough, though, right? Oh, wait, no, I need, uh, hold on, how many of these do I need? Uh, ten. I need ten of these. Oh, boy. Uh, frick. Oh, dear. Soul torch. God damn it, am I actually out of soul frick? I'm out of soul frick. All righty. Great, great, great. And so when I put down all 14 of these, I'm assuming I'll be at, like, a higher enchantment level than I was before, probably. And then I have to figure stuff out. Yeah, I know. I can go to the B dimension if I need to get more honeycomb, but fortunately we had enough. It's very exciting. Hello, Mr. Pigman. Uh, actually, you know what? Where where can we find ourselves some um, soul stuff? Any easy place in the nether for it? Mm. We will go to nether ship. You hate it when you're out of sulfuric? Yeah, I know. Me too, right? Me too. I do realize we probably have just about everything we could ever possibly need in order to, you know, uh, do the bosses. But I want to mimex. Want to mimex? How about a how about a soul sand valley? Soul Sand Valley, where are we at? 680 or a Soul Plane is 452 in that direction. Let us go and do it. Okay, hold on. I need to do that. And I hope 
this actually has, you know, soul sand and stuff. Otherwise, it's going to be a waste. Bit of a waste. It does have very nice. Thank you so, so very much. So in the new update to this, which I haven't installed yet, they made it so that Vein Miner now no longer works on non-ore veins. And I was like, hmm. Haven't updated yet. Uh, you know, just that kind of guy. Just that kind of guy. You know. Okay, there we go. That'll be good. And I know what I need to make. I don't even remember. It was quite a few. Oh God, we need to do more iron. And then more of this. Okay, good. That should be fine. All right. Skulk. Shelf. Soul touched, boom. How many do we have of that? We have one so far, right? Soul touch. Oh, we have zero. Do we have zero? We have zero. Oh, is the no, because I was making the other one first, this one. Okay, so we got uh one of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. And then we need to make all of you. Three I ran out of skulk! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Soul Sand Valley. It's not a Soul Sand Valley, but it's fine. Why did I go here? Why didn't I go straight to the deep dark? I don't know. I have a habit of clicking first village and then... But it's fine. We're taking back to the overworld, so most of the time we'll be covered. And then we just switch over to deep dark, and then I need to get the soul and stuff like that. Oy, 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 oy. All right, uh, deep dark. And then, uh, we're gonna get more wardens in just a moment here. Did I just? I need silk. Rip. Not that it's like really difficult. I just don't know that I want to deal with them right at this very moment. Is all? Or is that waystone of mine? Right over here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Can't believe I ran out of skulk. That's crazy. Okay, so 10, 10 4. Men, so are we base? Are we doing like full replace here? Actually, I think we're doing full replace. That's two two four versus five fifteen five, and whatever the rectification. I don't know what rectification is, and this is freaking five fifteen five or five five fifteen. Jeez, these things are actually gnarly. Goodbye. Farewell, I see you later. Okay, so we'll do a little bit of uh, what is best way to do this? What is best way to do this? A little bit of. This perhaps and a little bit of one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh no, it is not. Oh god, dang it, man! It's gonna be not. It's gonna be lopsided. Hold on, wait. We can do this. We can do that, and then we can do get rid of this right here, and then we can put this one there. Yeah, that's better. That's better. And then we got one, two, and three, four. And now, what are we looking at on our enchant levels? Gonna need to put a book in. No books. Okay, books. Books, 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 books. There we go. We put a book in. We're... Oh, 80. Okay, 80. That's pretty good. But now, according to the thing, in order to make it even bigger, we need one deep shelf of arcane treasures, two shelves of infused rectification, and then sea shelves of filtration. I don't know what that is. Okay, so, um, oh, and one draconic end shelf. What is a deep shelf of arcane treasures? Deep shelf. Oh, this one. Oh, it subtracts the, oh my God, I need to do more? I need to do more of these, my God, what are we doing here? What are you doing? That's a deep shelf, which is this balls. Oh, yeah, that takes the deep shelf, which is the dormant deep shelf. Which is the this. Okay, I can do freaking two more. Oh, seashells let you block out enchantments that you don't want. She shells, she shelves by the seashore. Wait, oops. Beep shelf. Beep. 
Here we go. A little bit of, um, whatever. I'll just do that. And then, ooh, enchantments from the depths. Roll the dice. Arcane power. So many things happening here. What are these? Item with 100% quanta. Enchanted level 80. And enchant with 100% arcana. Big plays, big plays, everybody, that we got going on here. And then you just need a block of emerald, which emeralds are kind of low at the moment. This is a fancy-looking thing right here. Absolutely fancy as frick-looking. So we need to add, like, a lot. This thing should be at the front. That's a fancy-looking man's right there. Absolutely fancy as heck. What does this look like here now? Whew, those are high up. Rare enchantments more common. Max enchanting level and quanta pure chaos. Uh, and then, no, end shelves are different here, apparently. One draconic end shelf, and then two shelves of end fuse. So we have three end shelves that we have to make. So, end shelf. Um, where are the, so, I don't know what a rectification is, but we need these. So, shelf of heckbound rectification, rectbound hectification or something. What is, what the frick are these? Oh my god, man. Oh my god. What in the world are we doing with those? And then a uh, draconic end shelf is we need dragon heads and end shelves, which are those, which are easy enough to get. Um, it's a whole thing there. So the draconic end shelf is that. Oh, infused. Oh my god, wait. So dragon. Have I done the. I haven't infused my breath yet with good tasting mints and stuff like that so we infuse what oh goodness gracious it's got other requirements for the infusion of the dragon's breath doesn't it some some absolute garbaggio here where it's like it has no it's a level 80 it's a level 80 but the freaking quanta's too high the quanta's too high god dang it man need melon shelves. Why are there so many types of shelves I'm gonna die? Ah, god dang stupid melon shelves. Need to go back to- I do have a jungle uh, thing, though, so I suppose that will work for stuff. Freaking melon shelves. At least this thing looks cool. At least it looks cool. You know what I can do? Why don't we enchant a few books in the meantime? Let's actually- let's do something with this. For now. You know, at least we'll get some benefit with our level 80s and stuff. Maybe we'll we'll get some higher level stuff, even though a lot of things are already hitting their caps. Cool. Cool looking good. Looking good. Looking good. How many unbreakings did we get? All right, um, extracting level five. Oh, we got big unbreakings. That's cool. You're going to have a worse time with the rectification than the Dragon's Breath Infusion. What uh, is required on the rectification donger? So, you've got to do this. What to do that, that. And that requires at least, at least, at least. It doesn't seem terrible. It doesn't have a max, though, you know? Oh god, you have a lot of freaking pufferfish that you have. Actually, it's only two, right? The honeycomb blocks? Wait, what are the honeycomb blocks? Why would the honeycomb blocks be a problem? We just go get those in the bee dimension, like easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's no problem at all. That's why we got the bees ready to go. Hey, Roy. So, let's go to the end and find an end city. Okay, Kitty. I hope you are enjoying your time here. It's great, great house, isn't it? Very beautiful house. Not much furniture, but you know, at least it's a complete beautiful house with a beautiful gold ceiling and full beacon and all that stuff that are one and the same. Um, so we should go to End Midlands. Just so you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, all the chat is already calling the cat horse pee. And I just want you to know that it, it will be different if you have elected that it should be different. That's all. So, okay. So, End City. End City! 2,000 two blocks away? Are you crazy? 
Are you crazy? K Gamer, thank you for 39 months. Hello all, happy St. Patrick's Day. Same to you, mate, same to you. That is wild. Do you guys, okay, maybe someone said, because I was mentioning it earlier, what the item is that gives you the ability to just firework yourself when you are in uh, Elytra. I don't think it has to be a custom end city. No, I think just normal one will be good to go. Okay, 1700. I'm just gonna do that so we go faster. Quest complete. Visit the Chorus Forest. Simply sword weapons have dash effects on low cooldowns. Oh, okay. Sword with a dash ability. Got it. I'll have to read it up. Nine hundred blocks. I want to be careful with chunk loading over the void. I don't think we're. <laughs> That's going to be famous last words. But I don't think the end is nearly as much of a risk as the overworld. Yeah, I guess a corrupt structure is a corrupt structure. But at the same time, um, there's way less to generate. So it should be a little simpler. Although there was that one time when we were doing, uh, whatchamacallit, was it Ragnamod? Where we were loading in the end um, with Pete and Zine and it was very unhappy. So I guess it's not always easy. And, oh, very cool. End city, very cool. Also not very cool, because it's tiny. Oh my god, we one hit the shulks. That's actually nuts. Actually nuts. Okay, can I, can I get through here? Did we just hit one of these that has actually, like, nothing? I don't, I don't think this has any loot. So, um, that's great. No, that's awesome. That, I, I didn't want loot. Anyway, I didn't I didn't want it. I wasn't interested. We're too powerful. There's no need. There's no need for you to give me any more. You see, I'm one hitting the shulks. Open or closed. They are fricked either way. Completely and utterly fricked. Where do I go now? Different direction? Something like that. Go a thousand blocks away and hope that maybe there's a closer one at that point. God frickin' dang it, I need skulk shells. Well that's fine. I'll get them at the next thing where there's also loot to go with it also. Firework. Let's make some more, just, you know, in the meantime, real quick. Easy peasy. I just wish, you know, for future updates of structure compasses and something like that, give the ability to search for... God dang it, it's a crash blimp. Um, give the ability to search for the second closest structure. And that way you can kind of bounce from one to one to one. Yeah, be pretty cool. Oh, cool. Another busted up one. Anyway, now, um, city, city, and city. 2,000 blocks in this direction. Okay. That actually pointed me to another one, which is kind of cool. Thing I'm looking for is a cloud in a bottle. Okay, so I did say that earlier, actually. I was just having a hard time remembering if that was accurate. Um,. So, yeah. Hopefully this one will be better. It's only gonna have a dragon head if it actually, actually has a ship attached to it. We need some dragon heads in order to make the end shells anyway. Twelve hundred blocks away. Wait, it says found already. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Oh good, it's an end gateway. Oh, like, are you saying that the Explorer's Compass actually has a thing for already found, and then it will point you to another one? So kind of they have considered that? Hmm. Cloud in a Bottle only helps for takeoff. Ah, okay. Because Cloud in a Bottle, I thought, is just the double jump item. So, yeah, it gives you a little double jump when you're starting. But then after that, yeah, you can't double jump again. So, all right. Dash. It's got to be a dash weapon for sure. Are you? freaking with me. Actually, no, this this top definitely has loot in it, but still, it's just like, guys, why am I finding the teeniest oh my god, um, okay, wait, I actually do need some shulk shells, don't I? Oh my god! Jiminy Crimbus, that's a lot of mans! I 
can use the ability here. I can use the ability. Use the force. God, I'm still one-hitting people with this thing? Let's go, dude, let's go. Um, I can't remember, I think I did need some, here, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me! Literally asking to be hit, thank you, I just want to get up to the top. Thank you, thank you. Why do I need the shulker shells? I don't actually know if I need the shulker Oh my god dang it, man! Alright, frick this, I'm going up to the top. I tried to play by your rules. I now refuse. What do we have in here? Smithing for Thalass Thalassium sword handles, stasis. We're looking for the 20 percenters. Oh, look at the Diamundos. Uh, Frost spell blade, a little bit of that. Smithing template. Stoof and things. Purple color module. Iridium always sounds fancy, but I don't know if it's any good for us. Whoa! Plus six max health, one armor toughness, netherite hammer upgrade. Interesting. I don't know. Symbol sword shadow. I've learned a new spell that I eventually will. Oh, cool. Invisibility scarf. Very fancy. Yeah, maybe I just think it's fancy because Stardew. It's possible. Smite oil. There's always smite oil. 20% attack damage! There it is. There it is. Ooh wee. You love to see. Oh, hello. Thank you, Shulky Box. Twenty percent. Holy frick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We will do that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, the the Peter scarf. So what does this do? Like Thalassium makes the Thalassium sword handle. Thing goes in it. This thing is only 5.5 .5 attack damage. Doesn't seem fancy enough to. Oh, cast. No, they all say cast spells from equip books. Doesn't seem fa fancy enough, does it? What about you? Netherite hammer. Very slow attack, though. Very, very slow attack. Anyway, okay, so that's that one. Inspire armor, okay, cool. Diamundos, dark balls. And then there, industrial machine frame. Cool, 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 cool. Anything else? Don't even need that. Smithing template, smithing template. Um, 24% projectile damage. Wow, that's fancy if we were going for big projectile damage. I think that was all. Oh no, there's still more. But wait, there's more. Honestly, if we got something that did, like, 20% fire spell power, that might be worth taking. It's too bad that we didn't get that, but another end city might actually have it. Um, ESC Sora, thank you for a whopping 45 months. Very swick. Oh, oh, 20, 24 attack damage. Oh, my God. You, you, you told me it was 20%. 24%? Up from 16? Holy frickin' swickin'. That's actually insane. What is my power now? 15, oh my god, 1500, dude. We've just skyrocketed. Skyrocketed. Okay, so Storm's Edge, Whisper Wind, and Star's Edge. Shadow Sting blinks forward, but not sure that gives any momentum. So, Storm's Edge, Whisper Wind, Star's Edge. Okay, and that is all we get. And then enter it. Enter a new spell. Cool. Dude. We should have another one. I wonder if there's something that gives uh, extra fire spellage or something like that. Would be pretty cool. So, well, let me see. Storm's Edge. I think we actually have one of those. I could favorite it, though. And then... Uh, whisper... Whisper Wind? Is that whisper? a Whisper of the Abyss? I think there's 14 damage, what the heck? What is this from? I don't know what mod this is from, but that, that thing looks crazy. Reduces the target's armor by 10% for 10 seconds, stacks up to five times. What is this? What is Abyssal Amethyst? Echo of the Ship Graveyard. Aquamarine, this thing looks crazy. What the frick? Okay, Whisper Wind is another one. How do you make that? Um. I guess you loot it, 
or something like that, and then Star's Edge. The Starless Night, Supernova, De Death of a Star. God, that thing was... Whoa, wait a minute. This thing is plus five fire spell power, but I guess we wouldn't be able to do the thing with it. Star Forge, Essence of Glory, Molten Core, dang. Oh, right, that's the Magus thing. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the simple... Okay, Star's Edge. This is the one. All looted, I see. You can't craft him. Got it. Got it. Actually, you're right. Is there a dash? There is nothing just called dash as far as spells go. Uh, so... You just search there. But I, I don't know if it has to be searched differently. It might not be this. Oh, wait, there's still more chests down here. Heck yeah. Maybe we get lucky. Maybe it's the same loot pool. Um, all right, hammer. What are this? The Helium Flamingo has the wear to swim in the air for what the heck? Equipable in the belt trinket slot. Swim in the air? What do you mean? Goodbye. Um, oh, oh my god, another one. Another one. 24%. Wait, what was our last one? 6% max health. 20% healing power. There's some crazy stuff here. Spell tome. So, actually, I wonder if spell tomes might just be spell tome. Oh, it does show you all the different ones, but maybe it doesn't search by uh, the subtitle. I don't. Oh, propel? Propel? Scripting from Archon. That could be something. Maybe. I need to, uh, at Archon, I need to, like, look up a tutorial so I can actually figure out how you use this. Because I don't know what you are supposed to do. So you do that, plus you do a spell tome, which is made with... I don't know how you make a spell tome. Spell tome. Doesn't seem like there's a base crafting recipe like I guess you just have to loot it I see you have to loot one and then use it so spell tome it says spell tome for propel is made oh no, no no I see that's the resultant thing so you do a book you do that stuff and then got it okay so you need to do a scripture table oh that seems pretty easy actually that seems very easy so what did I put in my necklace slot here Extra roll, which we're not really using, so maybe we just up that to 24% attack damage. And then everything else. Have we done this? I already know it. Okay. Not those? Ones from the other mod? Wait, what do you mean? Is this not what I want to do? Propel? Another health thing. And that was everything. Okie dokie. Very cool. Very awesome. Was there anything else? I guess we could grab this thing. Which is the ter the termite block. Oh god. Okay, down the hatch we go. And we out. All right, well, we found we found the super duper duper de duper stuff. And I'm getting hit. God dang it, man. So what are we at? We are at... What's our total right now? Doesn't say, and it's obstructed. I just want to see what my total power is. Also, do we have any more? I want to work towards the super duper fire thing again. And we are one, two, three, four. Four levels away from that. Um... So I have to figure out, like, how do you do... How do you do the casting of the Archon 
spells. Um, I don't know how you do that. I need another waystone, don't I? I do. Okay, GW Senpai AU with 20 months, when will your power level reach over 9,000? Um, that seems like a ways away, if I'm being honest, as disappointing as it is to say. Okay, cool. Oh, it is the gr Grimoire. Got it. Oh. Well, that's pretty easy to make. All right, let's go back home. And maybe we can make this thing and see if the propel spell works. We've collected all these spells. And I feel like there are people who are probably sad that I'm not trying to use them. Because we've seen it in other mod packs before. And yet, again, haven't used it. And there's always people who are sad about the lack of usage of Ars Nouveau in various packs and stuff like that. So I would hate to continue to let people down. I really would. Okay, so Grimoire. Ah! Okay, got it. Weapons and gear, world generation, entry index, mana, bosses and stuff. So basics of mana, channeler, ancient scroll, what is this? Allows a core I or channel mana into blocks resulting in specific items. That doesn't seem like the thing. Ancient scrolls. Give me mana, but what about the spells? This doesn't seem like the correct thing. Oh, spells. Ah, good. Spell tomes are special books that contain to uh, learn a spell. Simply use the tome. A player can learn as many spells as they want. Only spells matching the element of their wand can be cast. Ah, okay. Got it. So I need a wand. A very fancy. A water wand. A sky. I would assume it's a sky wand, probably. Which Oh, God. Sky essence, which... We should be able to get without too much difficulty. Sky wand, sky essence, two, three, and then sky gem from a sky node, which is somewhere. I need to find a sky node in the in the sky, up in the. Are there actual? Uh, I never look up, so there's a good chance there are actual sky structures that I've never looked at. So I guess I should check those out. Uh, but other than that, we also do need to make the uh, cloud, sorry, propel structure, or the propel thing, which is we need the scripting donger, which is easy enough. We should be able to make that pretty swiftly with a view. Okay, cool. So the scripture table, make that. And then for propel, we need a rabbit's foot, bone, and sugar. Do we have a rabbit's foot? We do. Bone. Balls. And Frick. Sugar. Close, but no cigar. And then a book, of course. Okay. Boom. 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 Well, that was easy. <laughs> You already, I already know the spell. Oh no, I'm so dumb. All right, well, we must take to the skies. God dang it, that was so silly. That was so silly. Oh, it's raining too. I don't want to fly through the rain. That's literally the worst. Let me sleep, let me sleep, let me sleep. Let me sleep. I can't sleep. Guys, do you think that's like a cloud thing over there? Now that we're looking up, all of a sudden, there's there's potentially stuff. Oh, that totally looks like a thing. Man. I don't know. That's silk touching, isn't it? Okay. Sky gem. What about a... What about a... What about a sky gem, yeah? How about a... What about a sky gem, huh? Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, it's a different block, I see. It's the more faint ones. Perfect. Uh, Eon Catalyst. 
Thank you for the three months. Pinch for no green. <sighs> Man, you have never seen so much green in your entire life. All right? No one is as festive as I am. Nobody. Don't at me, bro. All right, here we go. Sky one, big plays. So how do I now cast this? I have mana, but apparently I can get more mana somehow by doing certain things. That does work. Why does it sound like horse gallop? I don't know why it sounds like a horse gallop, but it does. Um, let's see. Also, imagine me wearing green. I would be a floating head. Maybe that's what you want. But Sigmire, thank you for gifting a sub. Very much appreciated. A very swick. All right, so I wonder if there's any info about mana regen, though. Let me see. So mana, 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 mana. Basics of mana. One second, you can... Your mana regen speed and max mana can be upgraded with the use of different items, like scrolls. Capacity scroll can be obtained as a trade from the wizard villager from Spires and increases the player's max mana to 200. I must have already used one. Oh, the accelerate scroll... Increases to two mana per second. This will remove the currently applied scroll for the player. So do I have a scroll by any chance? I don't. And I assume there is no way to make them. No. All right. So you got to trade with the wizard man in order to do that. So the sky wand is like... You know, we get a few uses, and then I have to wait for the uh, the mana regen. I'm gonna use it once every ten seconds, which actually isn't too bad. Actually, not too bad to be fair. So that's cool. She accelerate rule capacity. Um, we don't have any of these, and they cost sixty, I suppose. So cool, great. What else do we want? I mean, I I guess I haven't looked around for. Dude, what is... This thing is crazy. Oh, it's only a 0.8 attack speed, though. Never mind. It's not nearly as crazy as I was thinking before looking at it. I have a Storm's Edge, though, don't I? I think. Oh, no, I have a Storm Bringer. I was just thinking that effect was the same, but this is a two-prong versus a one... one-prong thing. So it is different. Hmm... Just went down a little rabbit hole here, back for the YouTube video. Just, what are better weapons down the road? And people were saying, possibly this one here. But I guess this is later on. We can't worry about it yet. But in order to get this thing, we do need the Awakened Lichblade, which I'm pretty sure we could do if we wanted to. Don't I have... I uh, thought I had the Lich... One kind, some kind of Lichblade, didn't I? Don't I have a Lichblade here? I do. I do. Have, oh, I have the Slumbering Lichblade, right which you can then use in order to do the higher, like the waking Lich Blade. So I'm gonna do that, and then I could do uh, this one, right? Cool, very swick, also doo-doo. But then you do the awakened Lich Blade, but I, oh, I need to get another uh, Wither Skelly. Do I have any Wither Skeleton Skulls? I do have three. I do actually have three. I could do it. I could do it if we wanted to use it on that. Although there's probably some other stuff that we need nether stars for at the moment. So, hmm, I don't know. Should I do it? Eh, I could do it. I could do it. So this thing, yeah, we got we got Schmite five. So yeah, we'll be able to frick him up pretty easy peasy. Uh, let's go into the mine. And then the question is, should I should I just take out the obsidolith really quickly, or should I do should I do other stuff? I don't remember if I had like a dedicated area where I was doing the wither, but um I'll just do it here. I think we'll be fine.
If only I had if only I had the mace though, dude. Just just frick. Such a bummer. Don't have the mace. Can't just one hit him. Bummer. Okay. And boom. And he is getting wrecked fairly badly. Okay, come on, guys. He's gonna regen back up. Be really annoying. Oh, I just misclicked him. Yeah, we did it. Okay. <laughs> that was, um... Wow, I got four Wither Eyes. Huh, that's pretty cool. Shard of Uncertainty. Oh, is there another boss we could summon with that? Lord Soul and that, that. And really pretty cool. Pretty good. Easy peasy. Now the Awakened Lich Blade. We woke it up! The only downside is that all of these runic tablets, which I was going to at some point use in order to make these better. How much how many of the tablets do we have still? We have 5. Like it kind of sucks that this thing sucks. So why don't I use one of these to do the old reforge here? You know, just to see what happens. Cuz it does suck to suck. Fingers crossed, you know? First try here. First try. Easy peasy. First try. Come on. It's going to be legend. First try. It's, um, you know, not the greatest. Not the greatest. You think I should... Oh, yeah. Hold the freaking luck in my hand. Oh, God. One more. Okay. One more try with the plus three. Remember, it only works off main hand anyway. And you're saying I do want to do it before I upgrade it. Otherwise, it's going to be fricked. Okay. It is legendary, oh, but it's only like, ah, oh, it's just luck. Oh, it did do more damage. It did add more damage, to be fair. The attack speed is slow. Does the attack speed change at all? It's probably just locked in. Mythic or bust, bro, there's, there's like no way that we're going to ever get, there's no way that we're ever going to get mythic on it. That's a crazy, that's crazy. That's just crazy thing to think that we would ever get. I'm going to need more runic tablets, okay? I'm gonna need more runic tablets. Which are gonna have to be looted from other things. I'm gonna save it here until we get more. I'm saying I can get from end cities and stuff like that. Go find them! Make them materialize right now, okay? Yeah, to be fair, we have rolled mythic before and it hasn't actually been better damage. So, you know. How's this look? Yeah, we should check it out. Whoa, look at that. That thing is cool. That's real freaking fancy looking. Okay, I don't want to swing it in here because I'm afraid that it will slay the cat, which would not be good. Oh, you're right. That attack damage is sans sharpness. Whew. Dude, you add some smite and stuff to that thing. The one hit is going to be crazy. We could add uh, stuff to it if we wanted to. Just... Would we want this to be a juicer or a non-juicer? That's the question. Juicer or non-juicer? I guess we can start it off as a non-juicer and just see what happens there. So smite, sharp, looting, scav. Um, so we want some smite, sharp, looting, maybe leeching, I suppose we could do. Leeching, looting, mending, uh, scav, soul devourer, um, sharp smites. No, oh, sweepy edge could be good. Sweepy edge. And do I not have any? Oh, I have smite, sharp. Okay. That's pretty good. Anything else here? It'll be pretty good. Chance to gain stacking speed on a kill. There's actually probably some other... Other interesting things we could add. Um, looting, life mending, leeching. I could add. Did I do leeching already? I don't think I did leeching. It's like, well, ah, why not? Knowledge, not yet, just in case we want to turn it into a thing. To make using a two handed weapon not as painful, suggest a mining glove for haste too. Oh, that's a cool idea. Chains, Bane of Illagers, and 
Okay. Weakening. Weakening could be good, maybe. Although it could also be really annoying for particle effects. Oh yeah, swirling is good. Chance to stop the target. Yeah, I think that's probably good. Summon a light. People think thundering is good, don't they? I'll do that. And we'll call it good there for now. This is going to be like 50 bajillion levels to put on, but we'll be ready for it. 103 out the gate. Whew! <laughs> Oh my god. I don't think we need unbreaking when we have mending on here, honestly. So, uh, yeah. That's crazy. That's, oh, thundering didn't go on. Okay. Oh, well. There we are. What a sword. What a sword. So now it's 18.6 attack damage. And now we're down to, oh, no. Hey, man. Come on, dude. Am I dealing 18 damage with a punch? I'm dealing 18 damage with a with a punch. Huh. Wow. Okay. That's impressive. So, mining... No, he was not chill. He was giving me, like, nausea and green particle effects. Mining gloves. Perma... So, perma haste to... Ooh-wee. Gleaming compound. What are these? Gleaming powder. Which is gleaming ore which is in the overworld somewhere, and I just haven't mined it. Dude, I should try just punching some mobs directly underground and see what happens. It's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. Let's see. Hello, would anyone care to be poked? <laughs> and bro, the range? Oh my god. The problem is, like, the first attack deals so much more than all the others, so that's a little annoying. Uh, we gotta be on the lookout for Gleaming Ore. Where is the Gleaming Ore? Hmm. Is that Gleaming? Probably just Redstone. Hello, Pokey Pokey. <laughs> Bro, what the heck? Goodbye. <laughs> Boop. Goodbye. Dude, they just get launched. What the heck? Start fighting bosses with boop, boop. Let's see what happens here. Let's give this a try. Kablamo. Kablamo. Holy frick, five arrows from that. A little much. Yeah, I'm not exactly one punch, man. But it is entertaining. What about this? Do we just frick him up? Yeah, we frick him up. We frick him up pretty good. Where is the gleaming ore? Oh, I'm too deep for gleaming? God dang it. Well, let me just gallop up, up, and away. Aren't we glad that we got this thing? It said there was deep gleaming, so that's why I was just like, you know, going around at the bottom. Just to see, but I guess not. He's got some armor. That was the only problem there. Hmm. Why are there no gleaming? It is very, very annoying. So you are... Are you one hit? Frick. Are you one hit with this? You are one hit with this. Okay. So are you. looking around, we're looking around, where the frick would the gleaming be? Boop. Why is there none of it? I don't like lose track of my waystone possibly doing this. Look, there's diamonds up there. Do we think that I could, can I, can I get it? Can I get it? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. No, get it, got it. Oh, that was sick. That was sick mineage. I got only one. Dang it. Hmm. I think we may have found it. Is that? Yep. Deep slate gleaming. Cool. Like diamonds, but less shiny. Oh, so they are hard to find. Hmm. 
Well, shoot. Okay. Yeah, we do have to get close to really see it. It does not stick out like redstone, unfortunately. A little bit annoying. Goodbye. Hello, diamonds. Thank you. Thank you very much. Not very many from that. Okay. <laughs> People are like, strip mine at Y equals zero. You'll probably run into it. And uh, lo and behold, there it is. Wait, it, that was crazy. Just like, yeah, let's get some gleaming ore real quick. Yeah, just a little bit of strip mining there at Y equals zero. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. That works out. <laughs> that works out. Um, I can assure you, thank you for the 14 months. I can assure you that I am thanking you for that. And Sigmire, thank you for the double sub gift. Very cool, very awesome, super de duper. All right, so now we gotta do this. Cool, gleaming compound, and there. So, goes in the glove slot. So we back in the mine? No way, there's a, there's an advancement? Called, so we back in the mine. That's so cool. That's so cool. I mean, it's not a, it's not a vanilla enchantment, but that's pretty cool. I'm glad we made this. So, glove slot. We have two glove slots, right? Right, right, right? Right, I'm pretty sure, don't we? I think, where's the other glove slot? Is it there? No. Oh, is the hook. I don't need the hook. What was that again? Increased experience dropped by creatures. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we're already getting quite a few. So, this is now just, I have perma haste infinity. So, what is this? How does this uh, do for it? Is it much better? It doesn't seem like that much faster, but... Wait, why don't I have a... Shift for more info. Grants permanent haste too. Oh, it's called momentum instead. It's called momentum. Goodbye. Farewell. Do we need the claws? I mean, the claws are nice to have, but why not, you know? Why not? No need to not have it. Okay, cool. Man. We got an arsenal here at our disposal. Foxity, thank you for 37 months. Much appreciated. Sword deals AoE damage. Yeah, so what you're saying is don't use it at with the cat. I got you. I wasn't planning on using the house. Okay. So, I'm thinking... Why don't we go try to fight the Absidolith, dude, bro? Just need to remember what it is in order to spawn him. Let me see. So, located at the Absidolith Arena, giant floating structure. Go the Absidolith. What is uh, the thing, though, that is needed in order to spawn it? Absidolith. Void hourglass. Well, that's fancy. I don't know. Oh, just an just an eye bender. Is it really that? All right, if you say so. Um, cool. Very cool. Let us go and do it then. Are we dubbing tonight? I mean, it depends what you consider a dub. If you're considering the different segments of the stream, we're tripping. We are tripping balls. No, we did a map, and now we're doing this, and then we have uh, create after this. I love Propel. Finally, we're using this stuff. So exciting. Finally using all these spells that we've done. Let's go. Man, we're just tackling boss after boss after boss. Hello, buddy. I'm going to try using this cool new sword on you. It's going to be awesome. Wait, do I just, like... Oh. I don't just hit... Oh, wait. What if... What if he uh, wrecks my armor? That would be most unfortunate. Wait. Oh, you know what I can do, though? In order to get out of the way, though... He has 2,000 health. Wowie zowie. I am tanking the hits. I'm just hoping my armor is not getting completely fricked. All right, there we go. Armor is uh, mostly okay. Oh, what if you pickaxe him? That's a good call. I wonder if the pickaxe, like, does more damage. 
it doesn't do any damage, as it turns out. Probably need to do mine, mine over here, though. Yeah, easy. Man's got lots of health. How's the armor doing? It's just still okay, still okay, still okay. That's good, that's good. Yeet. Oh, I missed the swoop. I'm just trying to use the, what does this do when you like right click it? It's just dealing damage, what? Okay, that's kind of crazy, I don't, whoa, wait a minute. Okay, okay, that one might hurt if he lands on my head. That's kind of crazy. All right, it's got a long cooldown. Okay, I'm gonna try mining. It doesn't do as much as the sword, but it was a cool idea. <laughs> we got him below half health. Oh, you idiots. Our armor has taken a little bit of damage. I like how our biggest consideration is really just the damage that our armor takes rather than our health. Oop, up into the air. Man, oh, heck, missed me with that, buddy. Geronimo. What's she doing? What's she doing? Perhaps this is why they nerfed armor. I don't actually think I'm over 60 in the armor value, though, to be fair. So I don't know that I would have my armor nerfed by the uh, new policy. And kaboom. The obliterator. I have done it. All right. Um, what do you have up there for us, mate? Let's see. The loot shelter. Oh, oh, look at all this stuff. 20% healing power. Okay, so it's basically, it's like an end city loot chest, sort of, with some... Fancy schmancy legendary diamond. It's too bad we're already mythical. Otherwise, it would be cooler. And then everything else is kind of whatever. I think this is the the obsidian harp is the important thing that we get out of here. Can you actually like take this? I was thinking that like it was gonna actually regenerate the inventory. We would have ha hacked it or something like that. Um. Okay. So what is the next step? Now that we've done this, XP levels plus 20. God, it took us from 509 to 529. And table of elevation. What is the final thing? The eye. The raw essence of the end. The end, uh, uh, the ender has been corrupted by the void's presence. The ender eye needs to be defeated to establish balance in the now desolate domain. The eye can only be summoned at an eye shrine. Okay, so you have to build the thing and then sacrifice the dragon egg and stuff like that. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Sneak break. Just turned into a normal shulker with nothing in it. <laughs> it's a good way to delete the loot. Okay, oops. What is this? When placed, mobs won't spawn in any 64 block? Hmm. Could actually be kind of cool to have at home, maybe. What happens when there's a raid? Does it compete with the Staff of Suppression? Where was my, uh... Where's my waist done? That was over here somewhere, right? Where's that? Where was it at? Uh... 
Right, it was over here and move it a little bit closer to where I was breaking the stuff for the Galena, possibly, maybe. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Yes, I've made it so nobody else, nobody else gets the loot. Sorry. Only child mentality. That's how we do. Uh, Birdman Forever, thank you for gifting a sub. And Artemis with 19 months. Four more till two years. Wow. That is, well, five, five more months until till two years. Unless we're exclusive, in which case sort of, I guess, maybe. Um, dude, I could, get, I could make it so I can fly around here in a seven by seven column. Could put it above the beacon on the roof or something. I don't know, is there a particular... Actually, you know what? We should keep this just in our inventory because there's probably a good, a good usage for it. Uh, maybe in the future if we want to do a boss fight where we can just fly or something. So if I do that... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now we don't get mobs spawning around here. Am I going to upgrade to AEO like Applied Energistics? I just don't really see a need to. I feel like we have almost everything we could ever want out of Tom's. Tom's is pretty slick. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Very good. Very, very goodage. So we're all but the final quest here, and the folks were saying that there's like a prestiging system or something here after the fact, and that's where those fancy swords come in. Like, the thing that we can upgrade the Lich Blade into. Some, like, we can go through it again, but make everything, like, Terraria hard mode or something? I don't know. That'd be cool if there was, like, a Terraria hard mode equivalent. Maybe it is what it is. Uh, I, I, could, I could go to the other planets with Galacticraft. They've even got some quests here. Craft a Tier 1 rocket. Which we have done on numerous occasions and stuff. You can search Obsidolith and see the Prestige Summons. Let's see. Obsidolith. What it... So this? Oh. Oh, so it's like... It actually just... Makes things more... Di mythic? <laughs> Triple X. Aberrations may rise over 30 seconds, helping in inheriting the mythical attributes of their... Leader. <laughs> Why does 30 have to be very suggestive? Mr. Agency, thank you for the 18 months. Uh, Tip 11,000, thank you for the do it a bit. And uh, we'll catch the message in a moment. But um, the Void Hourglass, just an item that allows you to summon boss. Void Hourglass. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Huh. I don't know how you get it, though. Of course you can use it to trim your armor. I don't think there's anything you can't use in order to trim your armor, bro. Just, anyway. All right. Um, I think that's where we're going to wind things down for this episode. But thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, check out... Our sponsor, Apex Hosting, Code Captain Sparkles, link in the description, 25% off your first month of server hosting. And uh, you too could play some of this with your friends. I do need to keep finding end cities and try to find stuff if we want to max out the enchanting. I did just remember. Uh, I got sidetracked a bit there. But anyway, that's it. I'll see you next time.